on the streets of Metropolis. The powerhouse couple of Superman and Wonder Woman has exerted their strength and yet, Patient Zero is still holding his own. Batman, after being infected with the Amazo virus, conjures up his newfound powers and releases a devastating beam of sound wave at Patient Zero, knocking him out cold. Before he passes out, Batman says that Luther has been lying to the Justice League. Luther cannot be trusted. Batman begins to hear a voice in his head, but he passes out before the Dark Knight can give further details to his teammates. As Superman and Wonder Woman flies away with Batman and Patient Zero, a crowd infected with the virus begins to march towards the medical emergency camp. The scene jumps to the aftermath between the mercenary Bullet and Lex Luthor. We discover that Captain Cold had protected Luthor with a cold shield effectively rendering a headshot useless. The two hired muscle exchange fire, but ultimately, Captain Cold takes the upper hand and freezes the mercenary in place. Luther rises to his feet and now demands answers. Moments later, Luther injects the mercenary Neutron with a substance that manages to wake the patient up. Neutron is given dire news of his situation and that he will die soon unless Luther saves him. But for that to happen, Luther demands the name of the person that wants him dead. Suddenly, Superman and Wonder Woman barges in with the infected Batman and Patient Zero. Luther begins to synthesize a cure via the blood of Patient Zero, but to no avail. Patient Zero does not hold the key to their salvation, but Luther has been holding out. He demands for a sample of Superman's blood, stating that it could hold a cure to the virus. We discover that the virus was actually used on Superman four years ago in an attempt to render him human. But somehow, the Man of Steel never fell ill, which led to Luther shelving the Amazing Virus project on ice. This new revelation angers Kal-El, as he begins to take his frustrations out on Lex. Wonder Woman manages to calm him down, but suddenly, an echo sound blast takes out the wall with Luther, Wonder Woman, and Superman with it. Batman emerges from the rubble, along with Patient Zero and the rest of the Justice League. Collectively, they speak. You are an odd species. You believe that you are the dominant ones. You are incorrect. What's going on guys? Welcome to Comic Island. My name is Joey and today we are reviewing and recapping the Justice League issue 38. This is what I'm talking about guys. This issue is just awesome. So if you are asking if I recommend it, definitely <laughs> go pick this up right now. Me and Arden love recapping the story in our own words, but we obviously missed out on all the great dialogue. And so far, Justice League has killed it with its great writing and art. As you may know, I am a fan of great storytelling, and the last few issues did an excellent job in building us this dark and greedy world. I also appreciate how they aren't using the word zombies, but let's face it, the Justice League are basically fighting off zombies, or rather people infected with the Amazovirus. So there's so many things I want to go through right now, let's talk about a few of them. Luther still doesn't know who is trying to kill him, and he obviously is doing everything he can to find out. Right now, if I had to guess the person that placed the hit on Luther, I would say it's Lena Luther, his sister. We don't know anything about her, as she only appeared in the last few issues. She is portrayed as the chair-ridden little sister of Lex that cannot do much, so it would blow my mind if we discover that she is the one that placed the hit. Obviously, DC would have to give her a reason as to why she wants to kill her brother. So here's my guess. Lena Luther sees her brother as a villain that should be put into the ground. If he dies, she would somehow rise to power as the new CEO of Luther Enterprises, and she would paint the world in her image. I know it's pretty twisted, but I'm just speculating. Okay, so the next thing that is going on is this Amazo virus. In this issue, we discover that the infected has somehow grew a single conscious, as if they are all being controlled by one hive mind. Okay, wow, I did not see that coming. <laughs> what an excellent twist, I seriously can't wait for the next issue. Okay, let's discuss Captain Cold's badass scene. If you guys are watching the Flash TV show, then you know he is currently being portrayed by actor Wentworth Miller, the guy that was in Prison Break. I always thought that Captain Cold was underused and highly underrated in the New 52, and I loved it when Captain Cold took out Johnny Quick during the Forever Evil event. But then he was never properly utilized ever since, so I just loved it when he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with this no-name mercenary. Well, I can't say he is a no-name. His name is Bullet, and I think that's the last time we'll see him. <laughs> As of right now, the most intriguing thing in the Justice League comic series, for me, is Lex Luthor. I have never been more interested in him ever since he joined the Justice League. Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? We don't know. 
He made the Amazo virus to take away Superman's power along with the Kryptonians that would escape from the Phantom Zones. Yes, that is such a Luther thing to do. And he has a point that he never intended for the outbreak to happen. So he goes and makes a deal with Superman to have complete immunity from any charges because of this Amazo virus outbreak. Normally it's Superman, Wonder Woman or Batman that shines but right now Luther is the star of the show. So what do you think of this issue? And who do you think is the person that placed a hit on Luther? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and I'll see you next time in the Justice League issue 39.